Welcome guys to episode 48 to the survival multiplayer game series and in this episode we are going to create some grass. So um, what I already have is a mesh with just a bunch of uh, planes and since uh, usually the planes are one-sided you can see that if I go this way they become invisible uh, but that's okay because we are going to use a two-sided texture which is going to fix this issue so make sure you create a uh, yeah, a model that looks something like this. Uh, this is very simple and I think you can actually create this in the Unreal Engine itself as well. And also what you need to do is you need to find a texture of a grass which begins right from the bottom and goes from bottom till, yeah, goes from bottom up. Um, and you, you can find all kinds of these textures online for free. So these are the two things that you need in order for for grass to be created. So what I will do is create a new material and I'm gonna call this grass material. Um, grass, now oh, you're already busy so let's call this field grass material and I'm gonna begin by selecting the base component and I will change a couple of things so the blend mode needs to be masked, the shading model needs to be subsurface and this needs to be a two-sided material. So, the next thing, whoops, the next thing what I want to do is find my texture and bring this in. And then from here I want to connect the RGB to the base color and also to subsurface color. And alpha goes in the opacity mask, like so. And the next thing what we should probably do is, as you can see, the material is looking pretty good. Uh, but we want to add some more effects to this. So what I will do is drag from the world offset, world position offset. And I will do multiply like so. And for the A we are going to do a simple grass wind. Um, let's see, I guess this one missing function input yeah it's all good I guess this is this one so what I will do is create a constant and this constant uh, you can experiment with these values but I found that these work the best for me so for me this is going to be 0.5 this is going to be 05 and this constant is going to be 0.2 and this constant is going to be 1. There we go. So the next thing is the B. So for the B I'm going to do the minus 1 minus like so. And from here I'm going to do a linear, linear gradient. And we need to connect the V gradient over here. And also this V gradient goes into our opacity. So the material should look something like this. And now you can see that the bottom is not moving that much and the top part is, which creates a pretty realistic effect for our grass. So now what we can do is let's find our grass plane. Let's add this material. So this was the grass, field grass material. There we go. So this is how my grass is looking right now. So I will save this. I will select the uh, terrain, pick the foliage and drag this actor in. Also what I will do is change the, let's see, cool distance from 0 to let's say like 10,000 um, and, and, and the intensity and also I will change the let me see the scaling because this will be a bit too big so I'm gonna change this to let's say like 0.4 to 0.6 maybe or maybe even 0.3 so this is how my grass looks like um, it is moving in the wind a little bit I lowered the speed to 0.5 because with 1.5 it was moving around quite fast I also lowered the distance so that you guys would see that 
when we walk closer it does load but the ones that are further away are getting unloaded so that it wouldn't eat that much resources from our PC and yeah I think the game world needs to have different types of grasses as of right now I only have created one but uh, yeah you need to use exactly the same uh, method to create these uh, static meshes and just simply change the textures uh, so that they would be different and apply multiple multiple different grasses to your project so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video